Hey everyone, I'm Rob and welcome to the test drive. Today, I'm driving the 2019 Chevy Camaro SS and today, I'm gonna tell you everything that you need to know about this modern American muscle car. Let's go. Now, for those of you who have been following my channel for a while or maybe have looked at some past videos, you may know that last year I actually drove the 2018 Chevy Camaro LT and that had the 3.6 liter V6. And while that was a very fun car to drive and I really enjoyed it, this SS with the 6.2 liter V8 is on a whole nother level. So I am so excited to share this experience with you today. So we're gonna start with the exterior of the 2019 Camaro SS. I've seen a couple things in the news recently where people aren't necessarily thrilled with the front end of the 2019 Camaro and that Chevy or GM may actually be refreshing it sooner than anticipated. Now for me, I really like the look of this Camaro. I love the look from the front. It is so aggressive. The front bumper is very aggressive. I love how small and wedged in the headlights are as well as the hood vent. Love the look of that in this SS. The side profile is very aggressive as well. You have some very big 20 inch rims. These are the standard rims. 245s up front, 275s in the rear. So you have some pretty wide tires, but you can also get 285s in the front, 305s in the rear. This car with 285s up front and 305s in the rear would be even more awesome, especially because it's very easy to brake traction in this car. I love how small the windows are. It does impact visibility a little bit, but in the Camaro, it's not bad. I've driven multiple Challengers, and I have to say the visibility in those is significantly worse. And you don't buy a car like this for the visibility or any type of practicality element at all. And then the rear, I think, looks really good too. I mean, that may be an area where, in in my opinion, it could use more of a redesign, but I don't know. I think it still looks really good, very aggressive. I love the spoiler. And in terms of the rims, I would probably want to get some black rims or some darker rims in this Camaro. I think it just would look better, but I like the exterior paint color. This is the red hot paint color. And overall, I think this Camaro looks awesome. Now, apart from the engine, when you get to the interior, that's probably where I'm most impressed with this Camaro. Now, there are two different trim levels. You have the 1SS and the 2SS. The one that I'm driving is the 2SS, so it is a higher level Camaro SS, and you do get so much in the interior. I love the quality of the leather in this 2SS. It's so soft. There are a couple different colors that you can get it in. The one that I'm driving, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this correctly, but this is the Kalahari color, and I think it looks beautiful. I would really love this with a black exterior. That's just my personal opinion. In the 2SS, you get standard heated and cooled seats. You also get a standard heated steering wheel, which is really nice. I love this steering wheel. It's very soft, but very aggressive as well. And just the look in here is very aggressive. I have to say that I love it in here. I mean, just the seating position is so nice. The fact that at eye level, you're like barely seeing over the steering wheel. All of the lines in here, I mean the materials for the most part, you do have some hard plastic, but you have some softer materials as well, and the surfaces look so good that I don't even care that it's hard plastic. The driver and front passenger have plenty of room. Now the rear seats, while you do have them, are very small, basically no leg room. Having four adults in this car for the most part is probably very unrealistic, but it's nice that you could put kids back there. I think you wouldn't have too much of an issue with that. I love the controls in here as well, especially the vents and the 2018 Camaro with the V6 that I drove had these as well, but you actually turn the outside of the vent to change the temperature. And this is a very comfortable car to be in on a long trip. I have to say that I had zero comfort issues. Absolutely awesome to drive this for a very long period of time. However, as good as the interior of this Camaro is, my number one favorite aspect of this car is of course the performance. Under the hood of this Camaro is a 6.2 liter V8 that puts out 455 horsepower and 455 pound-feet of torque. There are essentially four different engine options for the Camaro. You have a base 2 liter turbocharged four-cylinder that 
is okay, in my opinion. I, I haven't driven it, but I know people that own them. Then there's a 3.6 liter naturally aspirated V6 that I have driven, which is a fun engine. I mean, puts out over 300 horsepower and there's certainly nothing wrong with it. But then you have the 6.2 liter V8 that is in the Camaro SS. And then you have the 6.2 liter supercharged V8 which is essentially this same engine, but supercharged. And that puts out 650 horsepower, 650 pound-feet of torque. And that is in the Camaro ZL1, which is an absolute beast. But for this Camaro, the SS, where it is in terms of price and just competition and everything, this is a phenomenal engine. And it makes this car so much fun to drive. Now the Camaro is of course only available in rear wheel drive that includes the SS. And with this engine and rear wheel drive, it's very easy to spin tires. I mean, you can just be driving at 40 miles an hour and then when you floor it, I mean, you can easily brake traction. This Camaro also handles very well. Again, 245 millimeter tires in the front, 275s in the rear, and you can get 285s and 305s uh, front and rear as an option from the factory. So even with the 245s and 275s, this thing grips really well. I mean, you can hug corners, you can go around turns so much faster than you should, and you can just have so much fun with this thing. Now, I also love the sound of this V8. I'll let you listen to what a cold start sounds like, and just that initial sound right when it starts is so nice, it's awesome. And that is something that you just cannot get without a V8. this car anytime you get a chance. Now if you put it in manual, I've tried to figure out kind of how to do this. Put it in third gear. The crackles that you get as soon as you let off the gas. This exhaust is really nice and this is not an upgraded exhaust. You can get a higher end exhaust from the factory that gives you quad uh, tailpipes and uh, gives you a probably better sound. I haven't heard it, but even this base exhaust, I guess if that's what you want to call it, is awesome. Now you do have two different transmission options with the Camaro SS. You have the 10 speed automatic that GM and Ford co-developed, and it's interesting to kind of see where they put this transmission. But you do have the 10-speed as an option that's in the Camaro that I'm driving, and then you also have the six-speed manual. And if I was buying this car, honestly, I would be buying the six-speed manual. The 10-speed is nice. It actually shifts very quickly. I mean, the paddles are very responsive. I want to say they're like almost instant. I mean, if you haven't driven a car with absolutely pure instant shifts, paddle response, um, you would think that these were instant. I mean, they are very, very good. And paired with the 10 speed, I mean, it has no issue dropping down gears. It's just a lot of gears, but you get better fuel economy. So in my opinion, I, I don't see anything wrong with, with the 10 speed. There's some people that just really don't like it. A feature that I love that this car doesn't have is auto start stop. And that is really great that GM did not put that in this car. Nobody buying the SS is gonna care about fuel economy for the most part. I mean, that's just what I think, but I'm so happy it doesn't have that. Oh man, I mean the sound! The sound is just awesome. It is not what I expected. I knew it was going to sound good because it's a V8, but it sounds very good. The exhaust, the crackles and pops are just awesome. I'd love it if they were louder and obviously you could swap out the stock exhaust and get something way more aggressive and be able to do that. Now the ride quality in the Camaro SS is a little bit on the harsher side, but it's really not bad. I mean, it could be 
way worse. I think of my BMW Z4, which is in no means a competitor to the Camaro, of course. But I just mentioned that car because it has one of the stiffest suspensions I've ever driven. And uh, that car is very harsh. And this is a lot nicer to drive on crappy roads, especially what we have here in New York. Now the V6 Camaro that I drove had three different driving modes. It had Tour being a essentially comfort driving mode. It also had Sport and it had Snow Ice. Now with the Camaro SS, you get a fourth driving mode and that is Track. What you're primarily going to notice with the different driving modes is the steering feel. It gets a lot tighter when you go from Tour to Sport and then to Track. And then the transmission behavior is going to change slightly as well. Now getting to the technology in the 2019 Camaro SS, there is a significant difference from what you get in the 1SS and the 2SS. The 2SS that I'm driving has a ton of extra features. You have a very nice 8 inch touch screen in either of the SS models. This is the nicest infotainment system out of any GM vehicle that I have ever driven. I absolutely love it. The navigation system is so nice. You also have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You also get a bunch of safety features standard in the 2SS. You get blind spot monitoring, you get forward collision detection, and you can set the sensitivity of that or turn it off completely. And then you also get a very nice backup camera with the cross traffic alert, which is also very nice if you're pulling out of a spot and maybe can't really see cars that are coming left and right. It does a great job of alerting you to that. I've driven many GM vehicles with that feature. And then I love the large electronic display in between the tachometer and the speedometer. And you can change the look of this. It gives you a ton of vehicle information. So I really like that as well. The 2SS also gives you this heads up display, which is really nice. And it's also configurable. So you can also get radio or navigation information as well as this long left to right tachometer, which is really cool. So I hope you enjoyed this review of the 2019 Camaro SS. I think this is a phenomenal vehicle, especially for the price. I've had so much fun driving this car. And again, I hope you enjoyed this review. So once again, I'm Rob. This is the Test Drive. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the video and this car and what this competes against. And please consider subscribing to my channel if you'd like. It does help me make more videos. It also makes you eligible for all the giveaways that we have had going on and I will be announcing one again very, very soon. I've been talking about that for a while, so I definitely am. I'm just kind of narrowing down a couple things, uh, so I will be releasing that here very shortly. Uh, so again, hit that subscribe button to join the fun and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.